Hey, what's up, guys? It's Sophia. So, this video is basically me talking about my trip to Dallas, my Nile Horn concert. Me and my mother caught the Greyhound bus at like 1.30 ish in the morning. Um, it was like a long like 12 hour drive. Our phones died like on the bus because we happened to get seats where the Greyhound didn't have like outlets. So that was that. The Greyhound station in Dallas is like two minutes walking distance away from a McDonald's. So we stopped at a McDonald's. It was about two hours before I had to go to my meet and greet uh, to meet Marin Morris. So we walked over to McDonald's. And over there, I did my hair, my makeup. I mean, my hair, I didn't do much. I mean, what do you do with this, you know? I did my makeup, which you can see right here. I was wearing a, a super cute shirt that I bought like months ago that I was super excited about that said, Niall Horn is my boyfriend. With that, I was wearing jean shorts and heels that I actually lasted throughout the concert with. And then my hair, I think I just like parted it off to the side on this side and I let this side let loose. Let me know if you want me to do a makeup tutorial for the makeup I did for the concert that I was super excited about because I used a palette that had real holographic makeup. I called a lift to take me to the concert. Once I got to the concert, I could hear Niall doing sound check. So I went to the front entrance where I assumed that everybody was lining up and then I said I'm here, um, I have a will call ticket which means basically that, I mean you pick up your ticket when you show up. She was like, oh do you have the meet and greet? And I was like, oh yeah. And then she was like, you go to the west side of the building. I was like, excuse me. So I went to like try walking to the west side which I was on the east side of the building in heels. I walked over to this table that was in between the east and the west side and I was like, oh, what are we signing in for here? And they were like, for employees who are working the concession stand and I was like, nope. <laughs> so I walked still all the way up into the west side. Mind you, I don't wear heels every day and so by now my feet were already killing me but I wanted to look cute so. And so I finally get to the west side of the building and then I say, oh, I'm here to pick up my Marin Morris meet and greet, whatever. And then she goes, name? Told her my name. And then she was like, well, you can go ahead and look at the merch. Does that mean I have a text? Or is my phone dead? Oh, my phone just died. If we have to do the rest of this video on mediocre lighting. So be it. So I finally um, signed in, whatever. She was like, oh, you have uh, first access to all of the merch. Um, so you can go ahead and take a look. And then around 540, they'll go ahead and round you up for meet and greet. And I was like, cool. I walk over to the merch table. And I was checking out the merch. And the guy was just like, how can I help you? And I was like, oh my god, I don't even know what I want yet. I was like, oh, I'll just take style number 10 in medium so then I get my Nile shirt and I'm all happy. Keep in mind it was 108 in Dallas that day. I am sweating, like dying. We stand there in the heat for like 40 minutes or so and then after a little bit they're like okay but it's time for the Marin Morris meet and greet and then they took us like to a little like cut off section like still outdoors but it's like cut off to the side and they go ahead and line us up honestly that wasn't like a very long line for a meet and greet like i've never been to a meet and greet to be honest but it looked like it was about like 30 people but i was like one of the first 30 um one of the first of the 30 not that i'm complaining or anything but they had us line up while marin was doing sound check i think because i could hear her going so we waited another 20 minutes and in front of me in line there were these two adorable little fangirls but they were wearing these two like little Marin Morris dresses that on the bottom there were like strips of fabric. It was super adorable. The mom had said that it was like her birthday present or something and I was like 
wow if only when I was 10 my birthday present would have been to me Justin Bieber I would have been set was I 10 when Justin Bieber was famous Taylor Swift would probably be more accurate finally Marin comes out and she starts meeting fans her husband comes out with their dog it was super cute um, how her husband came out to see her at this point my phone was at like 24% the line keeps moving up Soon enough, it comes my turn to meet Marin. As soon as I walk in, the first thing she said, Oh my god, I love your glitter! And I had, like, the glitter eyeshadow base, which you've probably seen since I've already shown a clip of my makeup from that day. And I was like, Oh my god, she loves my glitter! But you know, when you meet a celebrity, you have to keep the ball rolling. You can't just, like... <sighs> After she says that, I'm like, Oh my god, thanks! And then I'm like, oh, these are for you. I brought her little shot glasses of my hometown. One for her and one for Niall. And then she's like, oh my god, you're from so-and-so because it said my hometown's name on there. And then I was like, yeah. I was like, these are for you because I know you love your tequila and Niall loves his whiskey. And then she's like, okay, well, let's take a few pictures. Well, she didn't actually say it, but the photographer looked like she was getting impatient. And so we just for a little bit. You can see that picture here. After she was like, do you have anything you want me to sign? Because we were allowed to bring like one thing for her to sign. And I go, no, I just wanted to ask you a quick question. You know, I've been thinking about pursuing the career that you and Niall are doing, you know, songwriting and touring and singing. Like, well, what was like the first step that you took in, um, in pursuing your career? So she was like, yeah, well, basically when I started out, I moved out to Nashville, um, and then I just started, like, listening to different music, um, seeing what fit best with me, and she told me that, you know, it takes a long time, that you have to be really patient when you're starting out, um, because it's not just gonna happen like that, you know? Like, if you really want to stick, it's not gonna happen, like, out of the blue, you know? And then she also told me that it's very important, <laughs> same thing, like a lot of the successful celebrities, that's what they have, they're very humble, they're very kind, so she said, you know what, just stay humble, stay kind, just stay focused, be patient, it's going to take a long time, and I was like, oh my god, thank you so much, and you know what, um, maybe one day I'll open for you on tour, and she was like, yeah, yeah, maybe, and I was like, oh my god. And then I started getting up and I was like, oh, I'm so sorry, I'm being rude. And she was like, no, 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 you're not. And then, well, either way, I was like, oh my God, well, thank you anyways. And then she was like, oh, thank you, I love my shot glasses. Um, and then as I was walking out, they gave me this like VIP bag that you got when you met Mary. So when you look in the VIP bag, you get these badass Marin Morris shades that I have been wearing non-stop since the day of the concert. You also get this really cool poster. Isn't she so cute? What a cute little human being she is. I also left my ticket in the bag, which is why my ticket is right here. So when you went to the VIP desk, they gave you this little lanyard that said Marin Morris VIP, and it has Dallas and the date. And on the back, it's just like this splattered print. She gave you this little hero keychain and then it had a little note card that said thank you for joining us it said you could see your picture online um it also said where you could register your hero keychains to see if you got like an extra gift or something <laughs> i hurt my leg but yeah that's what i got in the little vip thing and then after i got out of the vip thing i charged my phone for about half an hour before the concert I called my mom and I was like, Oh my god, I just met Marion and she's so sweet and so humble. And my mom was like, Oh my god, I'm so happy for you. And then I hung up with her and I called her back and I was like, Oh my god, Marion loved my glitter. I got lots of compliments on my outfit and makeup and hair. I've never been complimented so much in my life. So after my phone was charged enough to last me through the concert, I went out to the concert and I think I waited about like another 20 minutes before Marin went on stage. And when Marin went on stage, it was still light outside. Here in my hometown, it starts getting dark around seven or eight right now. But over there in Dallas, it didn't start getting dark until like 9.30, 10, which was odd to me. Anyways, the sun was still out at seven. 
Marin performed a set of about seven to eight songs. Um, none of them which included I Wish I Was or Drunk Girls Don't Cry, but it's okay because all of our songs are great. <laughs> there was this one song that particularly hit me in the heart called I Could Use a Love Song. And that one, well, you can see footage, um, just a little clip of her singing I Could Use a Love Song right here. set list of seven eight songs oh my goodness Marin Morris is such an amazing performer she gets so into her performances and her music it's music that actually hits you music that you can relate to it was such an amazing experience and oh my god her outfit so Marin performed it was over and then it took about 10 minutes I think for his crew to set up his meaning Niall, sorry. And then I think it was another 10 minutes uh, that we waited for him to go on stage. And then all of a sudden the lights went dark. <laughs> My anxiety was like, <laughs> And then all of a sudden like the lights come on, they were like blue lights. his band comes on stage and we're like <sighs> and then Niall comes up and my heart stopped <laughs> when I saw One Direction back in 2013 I was 14 years old um, it was a football stadium, technically, and I was at the back of the football stadium. I could barely even see the boys. <laughs> I was like, mostly talking to the friend that I went to the concert with. Yeah, but that concert, um, I lost all of the photos and videos that I had of that concert when my iPhone broke back in like 2013, 2014. So it was nice kind of just to see Niall. Niall's always been my favorite. You ask anybody, Niall. He's always been my favorite. It was just an amazing experience to see Niall come out and then you're just like, oh my god. And he sang his set list. He started with On the Loose. I know what she said. One song that I hope you will not find a video of on YouTube, at least from the Dallas tour, is Flickr. During Flickr was such a genuine moment. He said um, something along the lines of, "I don't see a lot of them tonight, but if there are any phones out, I like you put them in your pocket." And so a lot of people put their phones away. My phone was already away because my phone was about to die. <laughs> I want you to just close your eyes and think back to what you thought of when you first heard this song. Because I remember exactly where I was when I wrote this song, and it took me 20 minutes, but this song speaks. That song, it was so beautiful to see him perform. And at the end of the concert, Niall pulls out the Texas flag, um, 
and then he sets it up, he puts it in front of him, and he makes this whole speed. Taz, you've been in an absolute dream tonight. At the end of the song, he just, like, on the way out, he grabs a cowboy hat and he puts it on, jokes around, because he's Nile. And then he just, like, goes backstage as if he didn't just, like, <laughs> wow us. Yeah, and so then after the concert is over, I sit there in denial for a little bit. And <laughs> denial. And then afterwards, security's like, What are you doing? I leave the venue, I call my mom, I'm like, Mom, it's over. I'm on the west side at this point where I walked in and I thought to myself, wouldn't it be cool if I met Niall after the concert? Yeah, let's do that. I go back to in between the East and the West where I accidentally like walked in earlier and there's this whole group of girls, I kid you not, waiting there to meet Niall. And so I'm there and then my mom calls me like 30 minutes later and she's like, where are you? <laughs> and I was like, see I was on the West side, but now I'm like, not there and she's like okay we're right outside and then in my head I had Marin Morris's speech and it was motivating me you know so I was like I could meet Niall like when I'm on tour or something you know so that is the end of my concert experience if you have any questions feel free to leave them down in the comments below if you have any requests for future videos let me know also in the comments please remember to like, leave a comment, subscribe if you haven't already done so. As always, remember to stay positive, be safe, love you guys, and I will see all of your beautiful faces. Super out of two. Later. <laughs> love you. Bye. Niall Horan, who's that? I don't know, some guy to the 20 of you who <laughs> still watch me. What's up, Diana? Okay. <laughs> what? I am currently using Kian and JC's book as a tripod. Um, because I could I could hear the love of my life, you know? Uh, okay. <laughs> Marin purported a purported. I was like, oh that was my phone. I didn't even wear this makeup to work. I literally like put this on
right before I film this. I 